everybody, good morning. Just wanted to come on real quick and say hey and talk to you guys for a few minutes about art and about my process and where I'm at. I'm having my coffee this morning in my Cat Rogers mug, which I love, my Emerald Hummingbird. So this is sort of just a coffee break and I decided to share it with you guys. So um, kind of two kinds of art that I'm really focused on, really passionate about at this point in my art journey. And that's some representational art but very, 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 very simplified. So um, one of the ones that I recently sold that got a big re reception from you guys, and I was so appreciative of that. Um, this is just a, a print on photo paper, actually, of that. Um, this piece is called Contemplation. So you, we've got the lady at the, at the beach in her red towel. Very simplified. Super, super, super simplified to the point where it's stripes, obviously. Um, I'm gonna do a whole nother live with you guys sometime and talk about the process of doing a painting like this where we're taking something just to the very, very, very bare bones to create a particular feeling. The other, um, another one that got a big reception from you guys was this painting, Splash. Um, again, this is just a, a print on semi-gloss paper that I have here for you, and that was completely abstract. And I was really thrilled that you guys, that that resonated with you guys. Um, I know abstract art is sort of, you know, sort of a, a funny thing, um, but I love it. And to me, I'm really interested in the process of creating abstract art. Right now, it's all about water and movement of water, and that's where I'm creating from. We spent a lot of years living on islands. Our family spent the last eight or so years living on islands, and now we're here in Miami, so surrounded by water everywhere. Um, and we, we just love it, it's been great. So for me, what I find really interesting is how can I represent visually the feeling of that water, the feeling of the movement of that water without necessarily painting it in a realistic or representational way. Can we get across just that feeling that you have when you jump into a body of water? So the giant painting behind me would be another, uh, another series in the Splash series, right? So that feeling of just the movement of water, of your body diving in and displacing water. And I find it so interesting to paint a painting of the feeling as opposed to a painting of someone jumping into water, which can also be beautiful. But right now, this is, this is where I'm going and this is where I'm creating from. And I, I really am excited that you guys have been really receptive to that and coming along in the journey with me. So for an example, this other series, um, which I haven't actually showed you guys yet, so this will be coming soon. This series is a series to me, it's a, sort of a big wave series, and this is the feeling here, and I'll talk more about this later. These are the feelings of just the waves. When you are out in the ocean, and you have the waves coming, and they're pretty much knocking you over, and <laughs> you're sitting there. This series is my North Shore series. This reminds me, when I lived in Hawaii with my family, we used to drive to the North Shore of Oahu really frequently. And so these paintings here are more about that feeling of just kind of tumbling around in those big waves and that feeling of the water where you're immersed and that's it. That's all you know for those moments are the feelings of that water. So that's that type of thing with the abstract painting. Again, we're always looking at the, the idea of the feeling of things as opposed to what they actually look like with your eyes. So the feeling of being in the ocean, in those big waves, and experiencing that maybe by yourself, maybe with your loved ones or your friends, your family, whoever it may be, that feeling that's joyful and exciting and somehow also peaceful at the same time. How do we put that all together in a visual representation? This one here is another water movement piece that's abstract, um, just to show you. So this here, ah, I can't get you on my life, but this one is interesting. This one's more of a current, you know, the feeling of, of water that moves in one direction, be it a river, an ocean, or whatever, to me, that will be the title of this piece, is current. And that's what it's about. Instead of painting the river, we've got the feeling of that and the movement. And these paintings, they move when you look at them, which is interesting. 
And so I really enjoy the challenge of boiling it down to the basics of that. And I, I find that to be a lot of fun. And then here we have another one in that series. And this one I'm going to call Rise. Um, this, one is, this one to me is so funny because I look at this one and it does have the feeling of water and of movement. In this one, we keep looking at it and finding different things to see. When I look at this one, I feel like I'm sitting there looking at the clouds in the sky and saying, oh, that one looks kind of like this and that one looks kind of like that. So the idea of doing these abstract pieces is the idea of boiling something down to its simplest form and to the feeling of it as opposed to the actual look of it and things like that. And that is such a fun challenge. And it's funny to look at them and just think, oh, well, you know, it, it's not something that I just quickly slap some paint on a canvas and then move on. It's something that takes a lot of incubating, a lot of thinking about, a lot of sort of, you know, what is this feeling? What is the movement that I'm trying to create? How does it feel when you're near or in moving water? What is the feeling of that? And, and to translate that into shapes and lines and color and form on the canvas is such a fun challenge. And I enjoy doing that and sharing it with all of you. So just sort of an idea about my process for these. It would be a lot of, just a lot of thinking, maybe some sketching in my sketchbook and just playing around with that. Some time spent just looking at the piece of canvas or the paper or whatever, you know, whatever surface it is that I'm gonna paint on. And then I get my actual paints out and I do some smaller studies and I play with it. I'll do it in my painting sketchbook and I'll play around with, okay, which lines, which forms create this type of movement. So the type of water movement, for example, in this is much more horizontal, this idea of the current of the water. That's a very horizontal type. Overall, we're looking at a horizontal line. Whereas the ones of, say, the waves, these are more curved. These have sort of a, a round sort of feeling that you get from tumbling in the waves like that. So it does, even though it looks like a quick thing, it really takes a lot of simplifying and a lot of time spent to incubate it and think about it and sleep on it and, and wake up in the middle of the night with an idea, oh, this color would really work this way or that or the other. And so that's a lot of fun. I just wanted to share with you guys today, say hello, enjoy my coffee with you while I was taking my coffee break and just talk about that. And then it's fun. It's just, it's such a pleasure to be able to translate that and work on creating those feelings and bringing them out. And so the same thing, you know, it'll happen with the movement of the paper. You know, it has to be done with the right movement, the right energy and the right music. I love to listen to, <laughs> to fun music while I'm painting and it all depends on, on what I'm trying to get out. So these were painted with a lot of uh, protege, I believe some common kings. What else was I listening to? Probably some Ziggy Marley. So. That's fun and it's wonderful and I just love that you guys are here. It's so much fun connecting with the people that I've met through this and the people that I've known, you know, that have sort of come around. It's just been a blast to connect with you guys. And thank you for being here for this journey and for, for interacting and, and, and following. So thank you so much. Please uh, check out, you can go uh, check out if you want to know when things are coming out. Prince will be in the next few weeks. We'll be doing an art sale with these little guys. These are fun um, shortly. So just if you want the heads up on that, if you want to know when all that's going to happen, just go to my website, lauramckenziegallery.com and join the mailing list and I'll keep you up to date on all of that. But thanks for a little coffee art chat. Love you guys. Bye.